class of 2021, I'd like to take this moment to congratulate you on all of your accomplishments. This past year has not been what any one of us has signed up for, but I've been so extraordinarily impressed with your resilience, with your hard work, with your amazing ideas, with um, the ways in which you're thinking about how we're going to change our communities, our countries, our world, our organizations. And I can't wait to see what you all end up doing. The, it's been a privilege to be your dean and it's going to be even more of a privilege to see and follow your careers, your post-graduation successes. My predecessor, Penelope Peterson, loves to say that CESPI students do good and do well, and I know that will be true for you as well. So um, without further ado, let's get on with the show. CESPI love. Congratulations. Congratulations. We love you, we support you. Special shout out to our SLI graduates. Congrats all. Fantastic work, 2021 CESPI graduates. And a special congratulations to the MSHE grads. You did phenomenal work under extremely challenging circumstances. I know you're gonna find success in your next adventures. Congratulations. Congratulations to the class of 2021. We're so impressed with everything you've accomplished over these last several years at CESPI and can't wait to hear about all your future successes and accomplishments. Congratulations. Hi everyone, my name is David Rapp and I'm a professor in the School of Education and Social Policy and Psychology at Northwestern University. And congratulations class of 2021. It's really commendable and admirable and, and, and I'm just incredibly impressed at how hard you've worked in the face of everything that's been going on over the last several years, not just the last year, all of your accomplishments and the way that you've succeeded and demonstrated proficiency, hard work, intellect, and care in working in classes, working in volunteer positions, doing research, and being members of the Northwestern community. And now we're here at your senior culminating event where you're receiving your degrees. And I just wanted to wish you from everyone here at Northwestern all the best success and continued upward movement in everything you plan on doing and everything that you attempt. And I'm sure we're going to hear about more successes in your future. Congratulations. SESPI stands for students who are passionate and energized to advocate for and serve all people who build relationships and practices and institutions that are inclusive and equitable for all human beings and respectful of the earth. And love, well, that's the greatest force in the universe. Congratulations, you go, Sespi. Congratulations, class of 2021. Continue to make a difference in the world. Let's go. Congratulations, class of 2021. We're so proud of all your accomplishments. I'm in Chicago. My heart is also with my student and their family in India, with the people in Hong Kong, a place where I grew up and people in other places. Even though we are geographically dispersed, we can be united in spirit as we work at different levels and imagine how change can happen from a teaching and learning moment to our own biography and life narrative and engagements in institutions and social and political movements. This to me is the spirit of SESPI and please know that you have a home here with us, no matter where you are. Congratulations to the class of 21. I once heard a commencement speaker say that in SESPI, you get a degree in changing the world. Actually, I think you get a degree in changing a world, like an organization or a classroom. And now more than ever, those worlds need to be changed. They need to be reimagined. And that's exactly what Northwestern has trained you to do. So get on it. We need you and we believe in you. Congratulations again to the class of 21. Hi, class of 2021, Dr. Alexandra Solomon. First of all, congratulations. I'm so proud of each and every one of you. I mean, who the heck pulls off a graduation like this at a time like this in the middle of a global pandemic? Each and every one of you is amazing. 
Second of all, I want to wish you so much luck and so much love in each and every one of your next steps going forward. I invite you to stay curious, I invite you to stay strong, and I invite you, most of all, to stay in touch. Keep letting us know what's going on in your world so that we can continue to shine on you and celebrate you wherever these next steps take you. Best of luck, be well. Hello, SESPI graduates. I'm so proud of you. You guys have done an incredible thing. I'm gonna miss you. I'm gonna leave you with some of my favorite words of wisdom. As you go through life, make this your goal. Keep your eye on the donut, not on the hole. Congratulations, I hope to see you at the convocation. Bye. Congratulations, SESPI graduates. We are so proud of your compassion and your resilience and can't wait to see what you do next. Don't be a stranger, go cats. Greetings, SESPI class of 2021. This is Cheryl Judice, practicum instructor, and I'm here this evening to wish you all the best as you complete your college careers and move forward in your lives. Congratulations. Congratulations, 2021 SESPI grads. While you're venturing forth to your new exciting destinations, please don't forget to stop and smell the flowers and to look up at the stars. Congratulations, graduates. Just wanted to say how proud we are of all of you. We watched you grow and develop during your time with us, and we can't wait to see what you do next. We love Sespi! It's today goodbye and point me toward tomorrow. Wish me luck the same to you. Won't forget, can't regret what I did for love. What we Congratulations, class of 2021. It has been an honor, a privilege, and a pleasure spending the last four years with you. And I can't wait to see all the amazing things you do out in the world. Dear class of 2021, 
If this year didn't already make me feel tired and old, realizing that I'm 12 years out really, really does. Since my time in SESPE, I've spent my time in the public affairs sector. I participated in the Coral Fellowship Program in St. Louis. I was a labor organizer. I joined President Obama's 2012 campaign as the state director for Missouri. And then I was brought back to Chicago, working for Organizing for Action. After that, I started a voter registration nonprofit here in Chicago called Every Vote Counts. And then I ran Treasurer Kurt Summers' campaign for City Treasurer of Chicago. After Kurt won, I joined him in City Hall as a senior advisor. And after a few very intense, very intense moments in City Hall, I decided to start my own public affairs firm called APS and Associates. My first two clients were Governor J.B. Pritzker and the Chicago Black Alderman. Um, and since then, my firm has grown. We now have four staff and we have over 12 clients, ranging from the Obama Foundation to State's Attorney Kim Fox to another Northwestern alum, Speaker Chris Welch. I really believe SESPE prepared me for this awesome journey um, by teaching me to trust my gut, take, take a leap, and I encourage you all to do the same. It's really an honor to be here to speak with you today. I know this has been a difficult year. We have lost loved ones. We've witnessed a civil rights movement and we are all completely zoomed out. I'm just gonna ask you for a few more moments of your time to share that I am proud of you and I cannot wait to see what you do. I don't know about you, but this year has put so much into perspective for me. It has challenged me to think about what matters to me most who matters to me most, and not to take my immense privilege for granted. Being here, having a Northwestern degree, and being able to share my purple pride with you is a true privilege. I want to challenge you to think about your awesome privilege and to think about what you can do next to be happy and to make an impact. These things are not always naturally aligned. And if this year has taught me anything, it was a reminder to take care of myself in order to take care of others. You're going to be joining a powerful, proud group of alumni that are all over the world and they're changing it. So lean on us. We are here to help. Now, no graduation speech would be complete without a profound quote. So I'll leave you with this. The late gray Biggie Smalls once said, climb the ladder to success, escalator style. Thank you all. And congratulations. Hello, SESPE class of 2021. I'm Cecilia Rouse, Chair of President Biden's Council of Economic Advisors. I want to congratulate you on completing your course of study, as well as all of your achievements during your time at Northwestern. I hope you've used your time there to develop relationships with peers and professors, perfect the art of late night studying, and gain confidence in your abilities. This last year has surely tested you. The pandemic introduced you to Zoom learning, social distancing, and other means of staying safe that are not really what higher educational experience is all about. Many of you likely had family and friends affected by the virus, falling ill, or losing a job. But you rose to the occasion, and while the last year was not the ideal educational experience, I hope it left you with a better understanding of how to think about education and social policy, and indeed all issues, in a broader ethical framework. You have acquired a host of skills that will serve you in whatever field you choose, a capacity to think analytically and critically, deliberate collectively, balance competing interests, communicate effectively, and cultivate leadership. The need for talented people to serve the public good has never been greater. We live in tumultuous times. The last 40 years have seen persistent growth and inequality with dire consequences for our economic, political, and social fabric. Our education system is failing too many young people. Political divisiveness has pulled people to their respective corners, unwilling to talk through their differences. The killing of George Floyd and others exposed ongoing racial discrimination in this country as people took to the streets amid a pandemic to demand justice. The COVID-19 crisis has exacerbated longstanding disparities in our public health system. And while it's promising to see the rollout of vaccinations, it's not enough to return to pre-pandemic normal. In this transformative time, we have to reimagine a better world, and you're now equipped with the tools to create meaningful change. As passionate and compassionate graduates in policy and education, 
You have an obligation to apply your skills to combat solutions to the most vexing social issues in our communities, in our nation, and indeed in our world. Wherever your next step takes you, it is my hope that you'll take CESPI's spirit of service with you. And again, congratulations and good luck, 2021 graduates. Congratulations, Northwestern School of Education and Social Policy for being class of 2021. You made it, not just through college, but just the last year alone gives you an extra dose of congratulations. I'm so glad to see you all have this accomplishment. I know it probably feels really good. So I wanted to take a couple of minutes to give you a few words. Um, as somebody who has dedicated my life to movement, to social change, um, I often hear from young people in your position about what they should do now, what life should look like after college. And I have I have about four points I want to I want to share with you in the next couple of minutes just about what life could look like post college. Some of you might have been activists all through college and really been involved in a lot of things and I'll tell you that I had an elder say to me, don't ever let anybody call you a college activist because that limits you. If this is something that you're going to do with your life, then this is who you are. And so I would encourage you, whether you were an activist in college, whether you're just interested in social change or you're just a movement person, I would encourage you to stay committed to learning. We can never, we don't know what we don't know. And it really takes um, strategic strategy and strategic planning and thoughtfulness um, and analysis to keep expanding your analysis to be effective in social change. And so stay committed to learning even after college. Read and listen and explore as much as you can. I also want to say, be a joiner. A lot of people say, don't be a joiner. Or I'm not a joiner. But change happens in community, in reality. It doesn't happen by a singular person or a singular, vis a singular vision. So don't be afraid to be a joiner. Find like-minded people who share your ideology and your analysis and your perspective about what change looks like and join organizations, join groups. You know, you may even want to start one, but I think it's okay to be a joiner when we're talking about um, pushing forward agendas that are going to change the course of history, change our lives. And stay open. You might have been completely committed to environmental justice the whole time you were in college. You might have been completely invested in ending gun violence. That might change as you grow and you deepen your analysis, as your, as your life changes, your passions change, your interests change. It doesn't mean you're a hypocrite. It doesn't mean you flip flop all over everywhere. I've done work across the spectrum of social justice and I landed where I landed doing work around sexual violence and centering black and brown girls after exploring so many other areas and guess what? I'm still committed to those areas too. This is just my focus. And lastly, I would say, if you're not a movement person, you're not an activist, you know, this is not the air, the direction you wanna go in. We still need you to do what you can. You don't have to be on the front lines. You don't have to be leading the march or making the speeches in order to affect change. We have to live in this world together. And so we need everybody to do whatever part they can play. You can read a book, you can listen to a podcast, you expand your mind, stay connected to what's happening, stay with, connected to what's happening around you, because even if you're not fighting for it or fighting against it, it's going to affect your life. So stay, stay open, be a joiner, stay committed to learning and do what you can, because it's going to take all of us to move the needle just a little bit to make sure that we have the life for ourselves and for our children for and our children's children for years and years to come. It's going to take all of us collectively to make that happen. Again, congratulations. <laughs>